All right, I know most of this corn has a long ways to go, but this is my favorite. This is, um, oh my God, I can never remember. <laughs> um, let me get back to you on that. Anyway, this is popcorn. It's the kind of colored stuff. Um, I'm gonna pick this one because it's close and I wanna see it. I love picking these and peeling each one because they're all different. I did end up with a lot of smut this year. So that's a fungus that grows on corn. It's technically edible. I have not tried it. I can't say that I will anytime soon, but this is gonna be the first one of the year here. I'm gonna have to, I don't have enough hands for this. All right, hang on. It's called Glass Gem. I just thought of it, but here we go. Now this one isn't as rainbowy as the others, but um, I'm not certain that this isn't cross-pollination from last year because I did plant saved seeds and I did have Dakota Black last year. Um, so it could be that, or it could just be this particular ear. You can see there's some darker and some lighter. I mean, it's gorgeous either way, but I love this stuff. And, you know, if you go back and, I mean, it could also be a, you know, seed that just got in the wrong pile. I'm not super careful with my sorting, but I've got a couple over here that I don't know, bugs have tried to eat. And you can see that's got some, lots of bugs, gross, but rainbow colors in there. So it's another one here. I have, what did I do, six rows of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. So I'm excited to see how these all turn out. I actually really like selling these at the farmer's market. People like them for decoration. It's nice because you can, it's good to hang them up, use them as decoration for a few months and then pop them because then you know they're good and dry. Um, like right now, this is way too, way too green or whatever. It's not gonna pop. Um, but if you let it dry, it will. I wonder, this guy doesn't look too bad too. I might pick a few of these just to see. All right, so I actually picked way more than I was planning, but these all filled out really nice. But you can definitely tell these are not, I don't know, true to type. I mean, I know it's kind of random, but with this many that are dark like this, I definitely think it was a cross-pollination from last year. I did plant three varieties. Two of those varieties were uh, Dakota Black and the two-inch strawberry popcorn, both of which are dark colored. Um, and then the glass gem. I ended up, out of all these that I picked, I got three that look like what you would expect, expect from Glass Gem. They're a lot smaller, and if I remember right, they were a lot smaller last year too. Um, and the Dakota Black were nice, um, big size. So I think that is what we're dealing with here, because I, you know, I think to avoid cross-pollination, you have to have something like you know, 400 feet or something ridiculous in between varieties. And that's obviously not going to happen in a garden this size. So, um, you know, just thought I'd wing it, see what happens. But as far as saving seeds, that's not, doesn't really work out. Um, but they're gorgeous. Uh, so I don't mind. Uh, hopefully I can find a few more of the sort of rainbow colored pea shooter visiting. In here somewhere, probably those smaller ones I'll go for. Um, I'm gonna wait to pick some more. Some of them are still really green, which is probably not a huge deal. They're not really gonna get any bigger at this point, but I'll get these hung up to dry and bring them into the farmer's market in the next couple weeks. And we'll see what the rest look like, but it's fun to grow. It always kind of makes me sad because it takes so long into the season. It's always so, ooh. Um, it's always so long into the season before I can start picking them and then we only have a month left of the farmer's market and we end the first week in October so um, you know kind of kind of sucks to have to wait this long but I guess it's something since we get towards the fall here and 
things stop stop growing um, and then I can work on picking some pumpkins and deciding which of those I'm going to bring to the farmer's market but the corn is nice people like it for decoration and it sells well so yeah that is my poorly cross-pollinated glass gem <laughs>